In an epoch making event that will positively transform Nigeria's oil and gas sectoral landscape, President Mohamed Buhari has commissioned the Dangote Petroleum Refinery and Petrochemicals, the world's largest single train refinery in Ibejuleki, Lagos, alongside its counterparts from Ghana, Togo, Senegal, Niger, and Chad. Promoted by Africa's richest man, Aliko Dangote, the petroleum refinery with a capacity to process 650,000 barrels per day is sitting on 2,635 hectares of land located in Dangote Industries Free Zone in the Ibejuleki area of Lagos and will provide employment to over 100,000 persons. The coming on stream of the gigantic project is expected to mark Nigeria's exit from the League of Oil Rich Nations, but which are heavy importers of the petroleum products. On the show today, we will take a cursory look at the Dangote refinery, expectations and impacts. Welcome to Business Insight and Plus TV Africa. I am Justin Akadonye. Welcome back. Now, we start the show with a roundup of major business headlines. Now, the Dangote Group has pledged that the force fuel products from the refinery will be ready by June this year. The chairman of the group, Alhaji Aliko Dangote, said this during the ongoing or the commissioning of the refinery. He thanked President Mohammed Buhari for his support through the arduous process that has seen the birth of the Dangote, or Dangote refinery. Meanwhile, the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, says the newly inaugurated refinery and petrochemicals will help Nigeria generate more power for its electricity sector. The governor of the bank, Gadrin Emifili, said the refinery is expected to generate 12,000 megawatts of electricity. We were doubted by foreigners, by our friends. Anytime we traveled abroad to discuss Nigeria's economic outlook abroad, when, they, when we use Dangote Refinery as a lifesaver and an opportunity for diversification of our economy, they doubted us. When I returned back to Lagos, I said, Aliku, are you sure this project will work? He says it will work. I said, Aliku, let's go to the project. So we go. I go around. I conduct an interview with television people. And I, I just said myself, it will go, it will happen. I go back again, the same story comes up. But I'm saying, for me today, history is made in Nigeria. The credit goes to you, Mr. President. We thank you very much. And I believe that this is a long-lasting legacy that you take away as you bow out from being the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Now, the federal government has commissioned 14 enforcement and security boards as well as other infrastructures belonging to the Nigerian Maritime Administration and Safety Agency, NIMASA. These facilities were part of the $195 million Deep Blue project aimed at enhancing the nation's maritime security and capacity in line with the best global practices. Speaking during the commissioning at Kirikiri, Lagos, the Minister of Transportation, Maazo Sambo, said the completed project were part of the government's commitment to good governance and institutionalized policies for improved maritime safety and security. Other projects commissioned by the minister include five new patrol security boats, five refurbished search and rescue pollution control boats, four staff ferries, a search and rescue clinic, and an administrative building. Sambo also said that the project will boost the nation's waters as well as ensure safe or service delivery and economic development. Earlier, the Director General of NEMASA, Dr. Bashir Jamo, said the inclusion of the security patrol board along with the search and rescue pollution control boards to the deep, or deep blue project assets are particularly with the intent to intensify the internal security on the waterways, taking into cognizance the recent proliferation of oil theft. Further reinforce our commitment as the projects to be commissioned are directly tied to the mission of NIMASA, which is to achieve and sustain safe, secure shipping, cleaner oceans, and enhanced maritime capacity in line with best global practices. 
towards Nigeria's economic development. To be commissioned here today are five state-of-the-art enforcement platforms that will ensure strict compliance and adherence to the extant laws governing the operations of our maritime domain. These platforms will give NIMASA the much-needed tools required to function as a maritime administrator in line with the protocols and conventions of the International Maritime Organization and the International Labor Organization, to which NIMASA represents Nigeria as its contracting partners. While we had our vision set on achieving something great, we simultaneously took cognizance of the damaging impact of piracy, kidnapping of CPRs, smuggling, illegal oil bunkering, robbery, sea and illegal and unregulated and unreported fishing has had on our maritime sector. Beyond the strides at overcoming the maritime crime at the goal of gain, the management of the Maritime Administration put more attention in ensuring that we maintain steady and straightforward outlook on building our own infrastructure so that we can have a very safe local transportation and all the leisure activities in our internal waters as well as enhancing our own revenue generation. And finally, on business roundup, Nigerian equities market closed positive as the key market indicator advanced by 181.20 basis points amid positive market breadth. The NGX All Share Index advanced by 0.35% to close at 52,369.13 basis points as against the 0.15% loss recorded as at last trading session. In terms of Naira, the NGX market cap records 98.66 billion Naira gain. Yet today, the NGX ASI stands at 2.18 percent. The total volume traded declined by 60.75 percent. The close at 318.23 million naira, valued at 4.05 billion naira, and traded in 5,847 deals. Zenic Bank was the most traded stock by volume and value with 53.43 million naira and 1,000 or 1.38 billion units. Sectoral performance was broadly positive as one NGX sector index closed southward, 15 sector index closed northward, and four closed flat. NGX insurance advanced by 1.34% to top the gainers chart, while NGX oil and gas index declined by 0.64%. And that's it on the update. We'll take a very quick break and return with our interview segment. Don't go away.